what's up you guys i am uh about to go see spider-man far from home and when i get back i'm gonna be doing a review on it so let's begin okay time to do my far from home review two days later because i'm lazy so let me just talk about the plot the plot of this movie is very understandable it most it, it basically kind of focuses more on Peter, more to say than Spider-Man. Like Peter's problems are more apparent in this movie than Spider-Man's problems. Um. Overall, it's just a really good movie, and I guess with that, I should just move on to the characters, like I did in the Endgame review. So let's go. Peter Parker in this movie. I think Tom Holland did a great job with the character, and I know that, for one, that he really fits in as Spider-Man, because it's really apparent that he likes doing what he does, and it really shows because he did a great job in this movie. His Peter Parker is really good, and his Spider-Man is also really good, so character rating, uh, 9 out of 10. Mysterio in Spider-Man Far From Home is a really interesting character because you don't you you don't really know exactly what he's doing for like the first ma the, the first majority of the movie he honestly he, he convinces Spider-Man he's a good guy but he also kind of because I, I obviously, like, being a fan of Spider-Man, expected him to be a villain. But, like, at the time, I, I honestly really didn't know where they were going with this. Because he, I honestly believed that he was a hero, so I didn't know where they were going. So they did a good job with that, and I think his character overall is really good. Like, his motives are good. He's not an ERJB. He knows what, we know what he's being a villain for. It's, it's just really clear. And... I guess I really like this one, this this villain, so character rating 7 out of 10. Flash is still a jerk, character rating uh, 5 out of 10. Aunt May is in the beginning for like freaking 15 minutes, maybe 20 at most, and she's in the end at like, for, she's in the end for like 5 minutes. So, like, her total screen time in this movie is, like, 15 to 25 minutes. And she doesn't do a damn thing in that meantime, except, you know, annoy Peter and be the new hip, you know, hot new Aunt May who is being banged by Happy. So, yeah, character rating 4 out of 10. You know, when it comes to Nick Fury in this movie... In most of the Marvel movies that Nick Fury's in, he has his own attitude of the I'm in charge, but I'm also a prick kind of attitude. In this movie, he's just flat out kind of a dick. He, like, downgraded from prick to dick because he is way more, you know, like... I don't under I don't really know what to say. I don't know what to call it, but he's just way more dickish. Character rating, 5 out of 10. Happy is... Happy. He's banging Aunt May. Character rating, 5 out of 10. In Homecoming, I honestly did not like Zendaya's portrayal of MJ. But in this movie, I really enjoy her as MJ. She... And I think, I think part of that is because she has way more screen time, and she's also one of the new main characters. But I honestly really enjoyed her, and I love the chemistry between her and Peter. And at the end, when they finally kiss and get that, like, romance going, because, like, there's no Spider-Man story without MJ. So I'm, for, I'm, I'm glad that they finally established the relationship. Character rating, 8 out of 10. And the rest of the characters are complete trash, and I hate them. Those were all the characters I liked. Um, yeah, that's my character review. Bye. 
overall, I really like Far From Home. It's a great movie. It's way better than Homecoming. And I don't know if they will be able to top a movie that good when it comes to the third Spider-Man. So let's uh, subscribe and like.